All right, we turn now to our special Republican primary coverage. State Senator Elizabeth Benequisto, the early odds on favorite to win this race, falling a bit behind in some of the recent polls. Senator Benequisto hoping voters will prove the pollsters wrong here as they predict Kurt Claussen will win. That's what the pollsters are saying. Four in your corners, Warren, right live at the Edison in Fort Myers, Benequisto's headquarters for tonight. And Warren, what is the mood there like right now? Well, I don't. I, I lost audio, but I'm assuming that you just tossed to me. I wanted to let you know I'm here at the Edison Restaurant where and Country Club, where Lizbeth Benequisto is going to host her election night party, and she is with me here tonight. And Senator, I wanted to ask you. I mean, this has been a long and tough campaign, but the reality is, every elected official in Southwest Florida who has made it a public endorsement has endorsed you. I, I want to hear why you think that is. Thank you, Warren, and I'm very proud of those endorsements because those folks are serving my neighbors and friends, and to have them on my team means that they recognize the hard work that I've done on their behalf, that I've done uh, for our shared constituency, whether that's protecting the river, whether that's making sure that our schools are great. We've done those, those projects together, and, and we've made, made great teams. Okay. Well, and you know, the other thing I want to ask you is, um, this has been a long sprint. But uh, win or lose with this campaign, uh, you have to go back to Tallahassee. Uh, you're getting on the plane tomorrow morning. So what are the things that you're most concerned about in terms of fighting for the citizens of Southwest Florida? Well, we will be on a plane back to Tallahassee 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and we will conclude the legislative session strong, and we'll focus on those budget priorities for Southwest Florida that we've been working on. The funding for the Caloosahatchee to make sure we can do the pump station, funding for McCollum Hall, funding for the IHUB, and then focus on the legislative issues that are important. Okay. The House passed e-cigarette uh, today, and right. we'll have their final passage tomorrow, so we're very proud of that. Okay, thank you very much. You've provided us access throughout your campaign, and we want you to know that we appreciate that. It's been great to work with you, Warren. Okay, thank you very much. You. All right, we're live here at the Edison Restaurant and Country Club, where Elizabeth Benequisto will be opening the doors at 6.30 to all her fans and supporters, and they're going to be waiting here to watch the election results. Warren Wright, Fox 4, in your corner.